I have here in front of me uh, TPU 95A and Bamboo's very own TPU for AMS. What do I think? Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody's doing great. Hope everybody had a wonderful uh, couple of days for Thanksgiving, a slash National Indigenous People Day. Hope everybody's had a lot of food, had some turkey, had some anything, and, and had a great time with some family. So, I recently, for the first time ever, started printing in TPU. I've, I'd never done it before. I've always wanted to try it. And I was like, hey, you know what? Let's just do it. So I got myself some uh, Overture uh, TPU, some 95A TPU. And um, I, I have to say, it, it was pretty cool to be able to print out a Benchy here that's squishy. You know, you can you can squish it. It like deforms. It's pretty cool. And I said, hey, why don't I do what everybody else is doing and print out an airless ball? This is a airless soccer ball. I'll have Links down below of who designed this. I can't remember off the top of my head now. Uh, but this is pretty cool. Uh, it is super squishy. So like it goes, you know, I was like, well, this can't be 3D printed. This is nuts. Um, and I also was like, hey, phone cases. That's pretty cool. Um, so after I did all of this, well, not all of this. After I printed the Benchy and the phone case here, I was like, um, Bamboo just released their AMS safe TPU. Um, which you can't use. This was these were all, by the way, everything here that you see, except for this black case, was printed on the Bamboo P1S that I have. This case was the only one printed on the K1 Max, and it didn't come out that great. But it's still pretty cool. So yeah, I was I was seeing a couple of my a couple of buddies of mine were like, hey, I got some TPU for the. Uh, I got some of the new bamboo filament. Sorry, they didn't say the TPU. And a couple of them got like the wood filament. Um, and none of them had gotten the TPU for AMS. And so I went and looked around to see what people thought about it. And a lot of people said that it was terrible. Well, no, that it wasn't that great. It was like a more flexible uh, pet G or just as flexible as pet G that was really brittle. And things like that. So I, I, I was a little discouraged. But I was like hey you know what. I just tried this TPU for the first time. I want to try other ones. And see if I can get a pretty good ball that will bounce. Or some pretty cool stuff. And so I went and bought these two. Uh, mainly because they were out of black. So I got gray and red. Uh, black and red are my favorite colors. But black and gray are pretty cool too. They're actually the colors on my logo. Um, which I did. On purpose and yeah so I, I then went and did the same exact test I printed a benchy I printed I printed the case and I printed the soccer ball and from what I was getting people I uploaded a couple of shorts and people were saying that it was really brittle that other people had looked at it and weren't super impressed and that it just not that it wasn't a good material but it wasn't that great so I was like, oh man, I was really discouraged. You know, I opened the box and I, and I touched it. And I, in the short, I say how it feels like, like if it was Pet G, like it has that, like, you know, if you know, you know, right? It has a very specific type of feel. It doesn't feel like PLA. And it feels like TP. It feels like a uh, Pet G. But I could, I didn't notice that it dented rather easily with my nail, which isn't something that happens with, with the Pet G that I have. So. I followed the directions the same that I used for the, the Overture TPU. I, I threw it in to my dryer and I let it dry. I let both of them dry for roughly around 12, I'd say 12 hours. But I think in, re in reality, it was like 24 hours. Hard for me to keep track of time. Um, and then I printed things. And it they came out great. So I, I originally just printed things in the... In the gray, obviously they're both the same. They're just two different colors. So I was like, eh, it's fine if I print it all in one. And it's not what I expected. It is also not what I had been told. 
um, or what I had been seeing that it was like brittle because this this case is is tougher than this TPU case, but it is it is squishy. Oh, I just broke it, but it is squishy. It's okay. I didn't want this anyways. It's not super flexible as you can see. It just broke, but it is somewhat flexible. Right, so I even tested it out with this. Like I was pushing the the little smoke chimney here from the benchy, and it was bending, and it wasn't breaking. Obviously, it's not as good as this one here, where it just bends all the way, or this case that can literally be, you know, that's you know, that's not gonna happen with this. It was, it is tougher, but it makes sense, right? The AMS system has to have some sort of harder material for it to work properly which is why you know it's a, it's more flexible in my opinion than any pet g prints that i've had uh the filament itself i have pieces here i'll see if i can zoom in Let's see if i can get close here So yeah, these they're they're much more flexible. I mean, I can really really bend these little pieces, and they don't really break. They don't snap. They don't super deform like some of the pet G does, and it's it's super it's not super squishy, but it's you know it's it's different. It feels different. Definitely feels a lot squishier than than any other material that I've dealt with. And then you have your regular. 95a tpu that is literally like a shoelace i can literally tie this thing on itself and it is fine it's stretchy it's it's not gonna break but it is you know you do have to dry it and things like that and uh so the settings that i used for this and the benchy will also be down below i get super awesome results with those settings so uh kudos to the person who who, who put those up on i got it from the was it maker world i think that's tied to Bamboo Studio. Uh, that might be it. Uh, but things were coming out great. This ball, not super squishy like like this one where it's like I could squeeze it with one hand. This isn't super squishy. It does dent in kind of like a super like a like an inflated ball, you know. Uh, it bounces terribly. Let's see. Does, it does not bounce very well. I'll have a video of that after, but it doesn't bounce all that great. But at least it doesn't shatter, you know? And then this guy doesn't really bounce at all because it's so squishy that it just kind of absorbs the entire the entirety of the shock. It just kind of flops there. So this one does bounce more. But, again, it's more brittle than... Then this guy. This guy kind of reminds me of uh, if you went to elementary school back in the day. You know, I was born in '92, so if you if you if you went to school during the age of sorry the the, the furnace just kicked on. If you went to school <laughs> during the age of dodgeball, this is kind of what that reminds me of. That's that squishy. Like you could grab it and just kind of fling it at somebody hard, and it it'll just like hurt but it's squishy you know what i'm saying if you if you know you know so then i was like cool like this stuff prints pretty well um i got two colors let's make a multicolor print and so i printed this case uh this case here i don't know if you guys can see it but it has my logo on the back Um, and I'll put a I'll, I'll put a link to all of these models down below. These all these models were super awesome. The settings for this, uh, this, the settings for this guy were the default. Whatever bamboo put in the slicer, that's what I used. And um, the original case doesn't have my logo on it. I added it in, um, but it is a MagSafe charger. So I was charging it upstairs on my MagSafe on my mag uh, on my magnetic charger charger. I can't talk today. So. I think a really, really interesting application for something like this might be 
helmets. Um, now hear me out. Uh, I haven't tried sanding or painting this, uh, but it reminds me a lot of the videos of this. I saw of flexible PLA, um, where it is somewhat flexible. Um, again, this might be less flexible than that, but if it could be used for like squishy parts of cosplay, you know, you add like here or there places that need to flex, this might be the move, but it is like we just saw, it is, it is rather brittle comparatively. Um, I know that TPU is a much more difficult thing to paint, um, and paint doesn't stick to it very, very well. So, you know. But overall, guys, like I, I am a little bit impressed that they managed to get something that is somewhat flexible to be able to print out of the AMS system. Um, and it, it'll work great for probably, you know, like maybe like a, a, a nice phone case, um, maybe one, a couple of these, you know, to, to just kind of say that you have it. Uh, or it, it'll be use case scenarios, to be 100% honest. This stuff is much, much, much more flexible. Um, so you'll be able to print off, you know, squishier cases, I guess, uh, squishier prints. Uh, these all have a use case. Uh, one thing that I did see that I want to try was zip ties that are printed in this TPU filament, which I think would be pretty cool. Uh, I wouldn't suggest that for the AMS one, but the AMS one might be more for, yeah, like, like hard shell cases for phones. Uh, they might be good for... Maybe, maybe soles of, of shoes. I know they 3D print shoes now. Maybe soles of shoes. Um, anything that needs some flex but isn't super, super squishy like this. Um, I think it's pretty cool. I'm going to keep printing stuff with it. I, I like it. I rather do, do like it. I enjoy it. Um, and, I mean, I don't know what else to say about it, guys. It isn't... I wouldn't necessarily call it TPU. I call it a TPU PETG hybrid um, that they came up with and called it tpu um just based on the fact that you know it still is you know it's it could still break right whereas this guy like i can you know just kind of twist this thing up into a little ball and it, it's it's fine this does snap it does break um it doesn't have the elasticity at all it, it kind of gets stiff Whereas this kind of just kind of stretches until it snaps, you know, and and it's cool though. It's it's still an advancement in the right direction. A, a bamboo seems to be going in the direction of of providing things that move the industry forward, right? So you have your flexible TPU for AMS that's a somewhat hard like PETG, but somewhat soft like TPU. It's just right in the middle, and that's how we're gonna get some cooler and cooler filaments. I mean, that's how we're going to get, yeah, cooler and cooler filament scans. It's, you know, if you don't want to try it, don't try it. I mean, it took me years of 3D printing to even try TPU. It took me years of printing before I even tried PETG, and I tried PETG back in the day when it was just string central. So to each their own, there, there is a use case for all of these things, whether it's for printing lots and lots of bouncy things or simply just you know trying to figure out what you can use it for right i print again printed a phone case things cool i printed two the first one i broke because i cut through it like a dumb dumb taking off the supports um and and yeah man i mean i would recommend it i think it's pretty cool there's some pr there's definitely some pretty cool possibilities here with with what what they've provided for us to play with. I know as the years go on, this filament will probably continue to improve and become slightly more flexible over time, or maybe they can design filament that's a uh, TPU that's maybe strong, but more flexible. I don't know how that's possible. I am no chemist. I am just the guy here who 3D prints things and tells you guys about it. And that's cool. Uh, but yeah, guys, this is a quick little video on just on the things that I've printed so far um, on, on this with this material again it's yeah don't hit people with this this will hurt like it's you know this thing will probably shatter a window or something but it'll bounce back after it does so yeah guys uh let me know what you think if you tried it uh what what have you liked what have you hated about it 
definitely do dry this filament. It does need to be dried. Even the AMS one, I would highly recommend you do it for at least 12 to 24 hours. I didn't try any printing anything before then. I printed after 24 hours and everything was fine uh, and dandy with both of these filaments. But definitely do dry your filaments. And if possible, if you don't have an AMS system and you still want to print something like this, uh, just keep it in the dryer while you print. It, it just helps keep the moisture out. These, these filaments are a lot more sensitive to moisture than, than your PLAs are. But even then, if you have issues with your PLA and it's stringy, just dry the filament and then make adjustments to your machine as you go. I'm looking forward to making more and more content with you guys. I do have, hopefully at some point, another unboxing video. It's going to be of a wash and cure station that I pre-ordered for from Elegoo. Um, I, I mentioned it in my last video. I mentioned it in this one. Uh, I, I took a shot in the dark and reached out to their marketing department. Marketing department? I think so. Uh, to see if I can get my pre-order you know, expedited slightly so that I can get the video up before the actual units won't go out. I did not receive a response, but hey, that's totally cool. I get it, you know, a small channel. They're probably like, eh, get a couple subscribers, bro. And then we'll talk. So yeah, no, I, uh, I, I took a shot, didn't work out. And then I received an email that there was a delay in shipment for people. So yeah, maybe that has something to do with it. Who knows? They never said anything back to me. So it's probably not it. Um, so yeah, once we get, once I get that in, I'll, I'll do a quick unboxing and then I'll use it for a little bit and tell you guys what I think of it. Right now I have these guys here, uh, which take up a ton of room on that desk. If it's just one thing, it'd be way better, but uh, we'll see when that gets here. So uh, until next time, guys, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the year. I hope you guys eat a lot of delicious food. Hope you guys spend a lot of time with the, the people that you love. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye, everybody. And when I feel like this, I'm a mortal. When I feel like this, I'm a mortal.